Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working on a BMW engine that you can find in BMW X3. And if you're trying, guys, to remove or replace the serpentine belt, stay with us. We'll show you that, how to release it, how to remove it, and how to install it. Before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Something else, guys. Let's say you need to buy a new belt, replacement parts, any of the tools. Check out the links. We'll share them in the description of the video below for your convenience. As you can see, this is the engine right here, six-cylinder engine. It could be found in multiple BMW X3s. Uh, that engine actually can be found in BMW guys 3 series, 5 series, X1, X3, X5 and even 1 series BMW. One of the most popular engines that BMW built and it's the most popular engine here in the United States as well. So we have the front end removed. Practically you don't need to do any of that. We did it guys simply because okay we uh, will be making quite a few videos on that engine and with the front end removed we can show you with a great detail where everything is. So we'll have videos about thermostats, water pump, quite, a, quite helpful information. Uh, now when you have your car together you have your uh, fan, radiator fan. Now you want to make sure guys that you disconnect the car battery before you start on the belt because if that fan activates for some reason it can take your hands off. Number two, it really matters which car battery terminal you disconnect first, positive or negative. Uh, and if you don't do it correctly you can cause damage to the electrical system and the modules. So. Uh, if you don't know about that, check out the link to the video in the description below, guys, that explains uh, how to do that, okay, the correct way. So, with all that being said, we're safe to go. We have, guys, Torque 60 star looking bit. We're going to remove the belt now, okay, and you can see all the pulleys here. I'm going to explain about that as we go and we install it later. Go clockwise, okay, and pull the belt out. It takes quite a bit of tension, you can see we have the big breaker bar. Now, we're going to remove the belt and later I'll show you guys how we're going to install it and I'll explain which pulley is for what so we can cover all that as we go. You can see the belt is coming out. Uh, this is the AC compressor by the way there, that's the hardest one to come out of. And the belt is out. So, let's continue now. So, now guys, this is the AC compressor there. We usually start on the AC compressor because it's very inconvenient place since you have the AC line that's very tight fit. Next, we go to the alternator. This is just an empty idler pulley, okay? This is your uh, power steering pump. Make sure that the belt aligns really good everywhere. Then go to the crankshaft pulley and this is your tensioner pulley, last. So, everything is lining up. Okay, make sure it's lining on the crankshaft. I'll hold it here. Okay, and what we'll do, one person will release the tensioner and we're going to install it now. Okay, perfect. Just like that. So, that's how you guys remove it and install it. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.